ignition and lift off of Falcon 9. Go Starlink, go Falcon. Vehicle's 15 downrange. supersonic so with that Falcon 9 is fa traveling faster than the speed of sound XQ and we've just passed through the point of maximum dynamic pressure that we'll feel during the flight So with that call out, we're about a minute away from main engine cutoff, stage separation, and then second engine start, followed shortly after by fairing deploy. Those events will happen back to back. And with the call out of MVAC chill starting up, that means we've begun chilling in those turbo pumps in preparation for second engine start. confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. So with that, those four events complete, we will be attempting to recover both these fairing halves again to use on a future mission. If you're just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40 at 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. On your screen, the right-hand side is our se second stage, taking 54 Starlink satellites to orbit. And on the left-hand side of your screen is our first stage. Position of signal, Bermuda. First stage making its way back to our drone ship stationed off the uh, coast of Florida and the Atlantic Ocean. Now, I mentioned a little bit earlier that today marks SpaceX's 186th mission overall, excuse me, overall launch. And as I previously mentioned, it's the 10th flight for this first stage. It previously flew the GPS space vehicle 4 and 5 missions, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, NALSAT 301, and 4 Starlink missions.
The first stage's next major milestone will be its entry burn, where we will ignite three of the Merlin 1D Started engines. Mid-flight guidance. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. And the second stage still has a few minutes to go here with second engine cutoff number one just after eight minutes into the flight. We are flying 54 Starlink satellites into orbit today. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Next major milestone coming up in about 20 seconds. That'll be the entry burn on the first stage. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. So with that, first stage has ignited three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow down for atmospheric reentry. This burned pretty quick, just about 20 seconds long. Stage one entry burn shut down. Both stages are following nominal trajectories. Stage 2 FTS is saved. So next major milestone here will be the landing burn start for the first stage. The sequence there will be landing burn start. Stage 1 transonic. So with that call out, the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound as it's transitioning through the Earth's atmosphere. It's landing burn to start in about 20 seconds, followed shortly after by landing leg deploy, and around that same time we'll hear a call out for second engine cutoff on the second stage. Stage one landing burn. So the first stage has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, named a shortfall of gravitas on the right-hand side of your screen. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And back shutdown. Acquisition of signal to Finland. So a few things called out there. First, Falcon Nominal 9 has landed. Insertion. That marks the 48th landing of this year, 141st overall landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Now, you also heard after that there was a successful second engine cutoff and a nominal orbit insertion. With the completion of today's launch, it marks SpaceX's 48th successful Falcon 9 mission of 2022.